Yamaha presents The Whitetail Diaries, chronicling hunting adventures of the most plentiful and intelligent big game animal in North America. Join top whitetail hunters nationwide. Embark on the amazing adventure that is hunting the whitetail deer. This week on Yamaha's Whitetail Diaries, a way to see some great quality bucks register on his stealth cams. And it looks like the newly named Lizard Lounge is the place to be if he wanted a chance to take down one of these big bucks. I always think it's funny how certain stands in areas get their name, you know. And this one here, the Lizard Lounge, picks its name up because we were sitting in it and lizards were running all over the place and it was just so loud and we named it the Lizard Lounge. We didn't have a name for it before then, it was pretty new. But the, the location really sets up to be a great hunting opportunity, uh, you know, based on a lot of different factors. This little particular area um, is right where, ironically enough, the, this part of the ranch is used for a lot of, a lot of sheep and they feed them constantly cotton seed, which it can be really good for white-tailed deer. There's always mineral blocks in the area. And there's a series of, you know, four or five water troughs uh, around right there. You mix that in with some really heavy cover, a lot of native brush that deer like, and, and it's an area that just driving through the very first time, I had a lot of high hopes for. After studying the scouting cameras in this particular setup, I mean, there was no doubt the Lizard Lounge had a lot of game coming in and out of it. I mean, they were coming from a lot of different angles, a lot of different age classes of bucks. And as I went out to go sit in the stand, I had a very open mind. I was, I was wide open on expectations, what might happen, what I might see even. So, you know, when you can go hunting like that, uh, that's my favorite way to go because I'm just necessarily going out and seeing what's gonna happen. Now within an hour or so of Wade getting settled into the Lizard Lounge, a nice seven point comes out into view. But as Wade is trying to get a shot on him, well, it looks like his buck has other things in mind. He's taken a liking to a nearby doe and has started chasing her around the clearing. When you start setting up in situations where you've got a lot of deer and a lot of rutting activity going on, it can get pretty hectic and pretty crazy pretty fast. You know, the deer can come left, they go right, they can disappear, they can come back. Another deer you had no idea was even in the area can come blasting through, push everything out, and it may not be as big as the bucks that you've been looking for. And that's kind of what we had going on here it was a lot of chasing and a lot of trailing activity where, you know, the bucks were basically trying to cut these does out off to the side and the does were just trying to come in and get a little nibble of something to eat, get a drink, whatever. And uh, it was a pretty target rich environment. Well, when we return, Wade sets his sights on a big one. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you in part by Yamaha ATVs and side-by-sides, real world tough. Cabela's, it's in your nature. Garmin Verb, life, camera, action. member of the Yamaha off-road family. It thrives in the most remote, rugged terrain. It never steps down from a challenge and travels long distances in search of adventure. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine. It's a whole new animal. It's on! 
Comfortable to carry, comfortable to shoot. It's slim, concealable, and powerful protection. The M&P Shield by Smith & Wesson. Confidence? We perfected that years ago. The Alaskan Series Cooler Packs by Arctic Ice. Specifically designed to keep your food and drinks cold all day long without having to use ice and end up with a soggy lunch. The Alaskan Series by Arctic Ice. Bitterly cold. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Wade is in the Lizard Lounge and is trying to get himself set up to take a nice seven point, but this deer is a little preoccupied. After watching the buck rut around for a while, another buck comes in to investigate the action. You know, hunting in Texas is, is something that's really special because our deer density and quality of the deer, due to all the hard work that a lot of the ranchers and the, and the leasers and people that hunt on it uh, have put in, it, it's special. You know, it's not uncommon for us to see more deer on some of these properties in a day than, than a lot of people can see in a season. And, and that's why I always preach to a lot of places, man, you know, follow some of the methods and madness that we do in these game rich environments and you will, it will pay off. Uh, and in this case, it's just really cool to see all the different age classes, to see the different quality of bucks. See some bucks that frankly probably need to be taken out and see some big bucks and some good does as well. And I'm watching a couple of these bucks and I'm really kind of thinking I'm gonna take this one buck out. I had seen him a lot all year long and uh, I liked his rack. I mean, he's a good one. And uh, you can call it shopping for lack of a better word, because as I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, man, I still got an hour left. Maybe I'll see what else might show up. And I have been burned so many times doing that. And, uh, but in this case, I was kind of looking up this road that comes in off to my left, and all I saw was big buck.
That's what you call smoking them right there, baby. That's the TC Venture at its finest with the 300 right there. I love that caliber. I love this rifle. And you were sitting there watching that big 7 point run around, run around. I was getting excited about trying to shoot him. He never stood still, never stood still. I kept thinking in the back of my mind, I said, all oh, this rutting noise, grunting and everything, he's gonna bring another one up out of that creek bottom. Golly. Sure enough, that millionaire came up out of the creek and spooked him. I like it. That was awesome. <laughs> you know, when you make a great shot and it drops right there, as a hunter, that's, that is one of the best feelings. Uh, you know, everything that you work for has come to a, a perfect ending. You know, you, you worked all year long, you looked at deer, you, you studied them in that area. And man, I mean, when that deer came in and he posed out there and he turned and just looked broadside at me, I mean, I, I had the editors make me a picture of that deer looking at me and I have that picture. It actually was my screensaver for a while because I just thought it was such a gorgeous pose. You know, you could see the old sway back in him, you could tell he was a mature deer. And uh, that's kind of how I wanted to remember him until I could get him uh, mounted and put on my wall. He is down, down, down. You know, we saw a lot of rutting activity going on the whole time we were sitting here. And if you look right over here on the left, we've got a scouting camera, one of our stealth cams, set up right here. And it's been aiming this direction the whole time. We've got picture after picture of good deer coming into this area. And uh, here is the end result of one that we just, boom, flopped right here, boys. I mean, that is a good buck right there. Good mass, good tines, all the way around. Look at this little, the main beam and this little crab call right there kind of come right up together. I like that. I couldn't resist him. I mean, what a great buck. Congratulations to Wade on another successful entry into the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. When we come back, Wade and Paul Pluff from Smith & Wesson do a little rattling. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you in part by Smith & Wesson made in the USA since 1852. Angle Coolers, a legend in reliability. Bradley Smoker, food smoking made easy. Experience high this a brighter sight, better than standard sights, giving you an immediate, more successful shooting performance. high this lets you see a dramatic contrast between the target and the barrel for a more intuitive aim that delivers instant results. Our light pipes come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors, designed to be seen in a variety of conditions. With our broad line of sights, you'll see your marksmanship dramatically improve, bringing more fun and confidence into every shooting experience. Shoot more accurately. Enjoy the sport. Choose high this Heavy duty, rugged, and designed for the big game hunter and angler. The Food Saver Game Saver Titanium Vacuum Sealer has the power and performance to seal in the freshness of your game and fish for up to three years, five times longer than standard storage methods. And with its extra wide dual and repetitive sealing capabilities, that's a ton of big game savings. Tough tested and rated 4.8 out of five stars by outdoorsmen just like you. The Food Saver Titanium System, it's a true game changer. That's what's cut. Sahit Motilla. When I'm not hunting, I'm thinking about hunting. It's on my mind because it's in my blood. When the hunt calls, my TC Venture points the way. Accurate, reliable, proven. Until there's no more ground to cover and no more stories to tell. When you're a TC Venture hunter, the hunt never ends. My secret weapon? Evercom. It's the first ever calming scent. It's real smells from bedding areas. 
To deer, that means safety. Evercom reassures even nervous deer. Which can help you get the shot. I use Evercom all season long. Put it on your boots, your pants, and your decoy. It's stick form, won't wash away or freeze. Evercom. 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 From the Family Deer Farm at Conquest Sense. Stealth Cam. Trail cameras with features you demand. With the durability and performance you can count on. Built to withstand even the harshest conditions. Stealth Cam. Join the Trail Cam Revolution. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Paul Pluff from Smith & Wesson loves to hunt, but what he loves even more is hunting with a handgun. And last season, a bruiser of a deer eluded Paul, so he's back out here to try again. Now, before we head out into the field, let's get a few pointers from Wade when it comes to rattling. You know, some tips that I always have when it comes to rattling, um, no doubt about it, that you gotta pay attention to the time of the year. You know, early in the year or late in the year, probably tinkling a little bit is, is, is gonna be more uh, successful than banging them hard in the peak of the rut. When deer are really in the peak of the rut and they're trying to set up their dominant, they fight hard. That's why they, you know, one of the reasons why they lose so much weight. You know, they're fighting, they're chasing does, there's just a lot going on. And when it's really going on, you wanna bang them as loud as you can. You wanna use natural antlers, preferably, to really create a sound that, that mimics what's going on out there. And sometimes that's not this little tinkle, 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 that's bang. I mean, that is hitting it hard, that's kicking the rocks, that's thrashing the trees, that's making all of it. And you know, obviously when you're up in the tree stand, it's a lot harder to do that. And, and, and safety-wise, you probably gotta tinkle them. But if you're down on the ground rattling, in a setup like we like to do in Texas a lot of times, you know, I'm gonna ease up into a mesquite bush, I'm gonna ease up into something, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start throwing rocks, I'm gonna start stamping, I'm gonna bang into the tree. You know, the first things that happen are deer are, are posturing, you know, they're kicking the ground. Think about a couple of dogs fighting. Think about a couple of big bullies getting ready to go at it. Man, they're posturing, that's some of these other sounds. You know, when they first hit the, hit the antlers, if they're just tinkling, their body's not moving. But if it's two big bucks fighting, You've got dust flying, you've got bodies flying, you've got spit flying, you've got brush being knocked around, you've got all these crazy sounds that are going on, and that's what you've got to mimic. If you're trying to draw out the buck that's going to want to come to that buck fight and get him out in front of you, bang, 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 and you will bring him out. Now, if you're in need of some rattling antlers, visit your local Cabela's. Every buck hunter needs a set of authentic white tail sheds. Collected from Montana, Wyoming, and New Mexico game farms, these rattling antlers make it hard for bucks to resist. To use this essential buck hunting call, simply grip the bases of the antlers and rattle them together to create irresistible sounds that draw the big boys in close. Paul has been hunting for the past couple of days in various blinds around camp, but the deer weren't quite mature enough for Paul's taste so Wade decided to switch gears. You know, Wade decided that uh, enough was enough and we weren't gonna sit any longer. So Wade kinda came in and uh, uh, asked me if I wanted to go out and do some rattling, see if we could rattle some bucks in. And it's something that Wade and I have been doing for the last few years. And uh, I'm always up for it. And uh, so that's what we did. We hit out and we hit probably five or six different areas and rattled it. We're gonna go uh, back around here. We don't have any wind really at all today to play with, so. Let's do what we can, see if we can't get in there. We've had an encounter here before. We have. <laughs> it was quite the interesting one. Let's see if we can't have a better one this time. You know, rattling in a two-man formation, kind of like what we're doing here, uh, is, is something that requires a little bit of a communication. Um, and, and we've made mistakes like this. Paul and I are, are addicted to this type of hunting style. We have done this several times. Uh, we've rattled in some great bucks in the past. We enjoy this type of hunting because it, it, it's, it's action packed. We're always got something going on. And even when we're rattling and don't get anything in an area, we still had what we call a successful set and we're moving to the next one with, with equally high hope. Yeah. 
back there behind this, behind it. Turn around. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you in part by Conquest Sense, hunting sense and dog training sense. Do All Outdoors, innovative gear for the hunter and shooter. Stealth Cam Digital Scouting Cameras, the game has changed. Ingalls got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers go with the original. I've never shot a multi killer pig like that. It's just awesome. First pig with the crossbow. I am pumped and excited. If you enjoy the outdoors, you're going to want to have a Bubba Blade by your side. Introducing the Bubba Blade Rhino, aka the stubby skinning knife. Well, on this pig today, the, I used the bubble blade stubby. And, I mean, that thing worked phenomenally. We've shortened up the handle to four inches and put a razor sharp four inch skinning blade on it to make the perfect skinning and gutting knife. You'll be able to work close in with ease. Like all bubble blades, the knife features our patented handle that gets sticky when wet so it won't slip out of your hand while you're working. Combined with our razor sharp skinning blade, you have one kick ass knife. Go online at BubbaBlade.com to order your Bubba Blade today. Fast, affordable, and incredibly light. The all-new Shadow Ultralight from Tenpoint. The lightest and most compact crossbow on the market today. Tenpoint. There is no substitute. Mummies is the leader when it comes to wildlife management products in Texas. With four store locations around San Antonio and the ability to deliver feed all across the state, from bulk deer feed deliveries to feeders and blinds, they have all your wildlife management needs covered. They are the largest Purina Antler Max dealer in the nation, so deer nutrition is their specialty. Call today to discuss your nutritional program. Visit them on the web for more information. When it comes to wildlife needs, Mummies is the leader. Long range. It's a numerical game of precision. Start with a 30 millimeter tube. Add 480 clicks of adjustment. Plus instant zero reset. Minus your 503 yard target. Your answer, seven. Pro Staff 7, 30 millimeter rifle scope. The long range multiplier from Nikon. And with Nikon's no fault policy, you can subtract all doubt. NikonSportOptics.com. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Well, Wade and Paul just rattled in a big buck, but unfortunately the tall grass hindered any kind of shot, and the buck went his separate way. I was following him with the dot. The problem is, is if I could just see some more of his body, I could have made a shot placement. I never saw anything below here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had the dot following his head through the grass. It just... <clears throat> You know, the strategies behind rattling for me, uh, they're very simple. Um, you know, you rattle quietly and softly in the early season when a lot of the bucks are setting up dominance. You begin to pick that pace and that cadence and that noise up as you get into the peak of the rut and, uh, and watch the different responses out there. I like to use real antlers versus plastic antlers. You know, I'm not saying the plastic doesn't work because it absolutely does, but I love to use real rattling horns when I have a choice. I like to move often and, and, and really get into areas where I've seen rutting activity. And I like to make everybody know this can go down so fast that it can be over, be either by mistake by us or with a perfect shot that it can blow your mind away. Because when you hit those antlers, it's no telling how fast they're gonna come in and you better be ready.
Now Paul is hunting with his Thompson Center Encore Pro Hunter pistol. This Thompson Center platform is interchangeable with a multitude of stock options, frames, and barrel configurations available. You can find out more at tcarms.com. And it looks like a deer is about to stare down the barrel of one. As we set up on this little corner of this flat where I had been seeing a lot of, of deer chasing does, I, I knew we were probably gonna get a response. What deer may show up, I really had no idea. But as I hit the antlers together, man, an old big one came in. When you're into the rut season like we are here, uh, they come in like a laser ship. I mean, they just rocketed right into there. And uh, you gotta be quick on a trigger and you gotta be really watching because uh, I, I, I never see it anyplace else. Usually the deer kind of come around and they ease itself in uh, to see what's going on. But when Wade does his thing, they come running in like it's the, uh, it's gonna be like their last dinner or last meal and they're just anxious to see what's happening and they're just rifling in there. Sure looked like he dropped his back end, didn't it? Yeah, it was very, very much a frontal shot on it, though. Was it? Should have, should have folded him. I don't know. I don't know. You know, when, when somebody misses, it's okay. Things happen. Buck fever. I mean, it. it you know, uh, just whatever happens, who knows? A misses always happen. But I would sure rather see a clean miss than I would see a shot that, you know, nicks an animal or wounds one. But in that case right there, as Paul dropped that hammer on there, I had already seen this buck hit the ground in my mind. I was already like, oh, we got him. Because that buck came on a string. I mean, when you script the way a buck comes to antlers, that was it. So as you look at, at uh, rattling as a hunting technique, keep a few things in mind, like I, I've always talked about. Early in the season, I like to tinkle the horns. If you're hunting an area where there's not necessarily absolutely giant bucks, don't make noise like probably you saw me do on this little piece here where I'm trying to simulate bucks 140, 150, 160 inches. I'm trying to simulate a big buck fight. If you have the option, use real antlers. I'm a big believer in that. The sound, the cadence, the tone, even the smoke that we talk about that can, can be generated when real antlers are rubbing together, all play a big factor in that. And once again, I'm not saying you can't have success with rattling bags or the little hand rattling sets because you can. It's just a personal preference on what I like. But know for a fact that rattling in a lot of different hunting situations on the ground, the way we do it, moving around in a tree stand, is a deadly technique to be able to call in some great white-tailed deer. Well, you can bet Paul will be back next year, handgun in tow, to have another shot at a Texas whitetail. We'll close the book on this entry of the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries for now. If you'd like to keep up with the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries crew, see some of the behind the scenes action as well as be eligible to win some of the prizes such as the gear we use in the field, it's simple. Go to our Facebook page and give us a like and one lucky person each year will join us in the field for a great hunt. Angel probably won't let me snuggle with her for a month after this because this stuff stinks.